Okay, so I was asked to do a review on this book I just finished, um, Judy and I, My Life with Judy Garland. It's by uh, Sid Luft, one of Judy Garland's husbands. And I was asked to do the review because uh, I'm a big-time Judy Garland fan. I'm actually a Judy Garland historian by this point. And the uh, person who asked me wanted to know if the book was uh, worth getting and how it was uh, written. Sorry a second. There we go whether or not it would be a good book. So um, I went into reading that book with an open mind, as um, there is, of course, a book written by Lorna Luft, their daughter. And um, those two books I did know reading before I started reading it, that they're going to have different views, because being the daughter and being the husband, way two different things. So I didn't read it uh, wondering how much it was going to uh, coincide with Lorna Luft's book. I just read it as a single book, which was a good idea, but um, there were like a, some uh, problems with the book. Um, one of the, the biggest problems is that the book is actually unfinished. That book was not entirely written by Sid Luff's hand, like of course the manuscripts were written by his hand, but he didn't actually finish that whole book by himself. It was actually finished up by uh, somebody else that was put together is the word I should say, and because he never actually finished that book, I felt many times like there were parts missing from the book, like uh, Lorna left passing out when she got uh, too overwhelmed with taking care of her mother. Uh, I don't feel like that would have, would have been left out of the book if it was written completely by Sid Luff's hand, because that is not something you forget, because that was a great big milestone when it came to uh, Judy Garland's health, not to mention Lorna's health. And another thing that really felt like was missing was uh, details on Judy Garland's death, especially uh, her funeral and how that went and all that. Very much of that felt left out there, as I would expect it to be if somebody is just writing this through manuscripts and interviews, things like that. Like, it didn't feel very emotional, that part. Like, uh, it felt a bit emotional with uh, who he blames for her death and all that, but there was like, it, basically with the part at her funeral, it's just kind of like in and out. So there's no emotional detail with it. There's not even details with her kids' emotions there. So I really felt like there were parts missing in the book because he did not get to finish the book. Like, it's nothing to do with his writing. He just didn't finish. So that will never get, unfortunately. But I guess this is, this is better than nothing. And it does give us something. It offers insight on things that have only been speculated before, like uh, Judy Garland's relationship with her sisters and some other extended family, which, according to this book, is not as, as bad as has been speculated on before. And also Sid Luff's son and how he fit into the family. And it also gives insight on exactly what uh, the Judy Garland's drug use was, which has been speculated, how much she drank, which has been a big controversy, which uh, probably isn't what you think it is, no matter which side you're on, based on the book, anyway. And it also offers some NGM insight that uh, Lorna Luft couldn't entirely offer, because according to her, her mother didn't tell her that much about her days with MGM, but she uh, told Sid some stuff she apparently did not tell Lorna, or Lorna didn't want to write in her book. One of the two, but... The insight is in there, and that's very interesting. Like, uh, one thing that I do uh, wish uh, I had in order to uh, get another opinion on the book is I do wish one of uh, Judy Garland's kids would comment on, on the book. The only comment I got was a comment from Liza Minnelli, but that came from the National Enquirer. So do you really think I believe, like, what the National Enquirer says? No, I don't. They write stories that are completely fake, like, not even stuff that people have ever said. It's often completely made up, so I'm not even going to pretend like that's a comment to go off of. But I can also understand why Judy Garland's kids wouldn't comment on this book. There were probably details in there that they didn't know about, so they can't really comment on that either way. And, uh... They also might just not want to. I mean, they're, uh, like, a Sid Luft isn't around to uh, discuss this stuff with, so it's probably more so at this point, if there's anything they have questions on, to just let it go, not make any comments on it, which, of course, I do understand, but I do wish we had some sort of comment on it from them. But that's up to them. They want to comment on it sometime. And, um, 
One thing that I do take with a grain of salt in the book is what he says about him and uh, Judy Garland's finances. Because essentially, um, he does admit that uh, he was a gambler, but he basically says that he was a uh, successful and responsible ga gambler, and that uh, he was essentially a financial expert, and that all the financial problems were everybody else's fault but his, that he didn't contribute to that in any way, shape, or form. And that does go against what some other people have said about Sid Luft. Like, he may not have been the one that uh, brought her down into deep, deep, deep debt like she got into, but uh, I do take with a grain of salt the idea that uh, he was uh, perfect with the finances and uh, he played no part in it at all. That I do take with a grain of salt in the book, but I do believe that what he wrote is legitimately his view. I do think that... Uh, Everything he wrote in the book is entirely, like, a truthful on his part, that that's how he remembers the story and what he thinks about it. So, uh, I don't feel like the book was deceptive in any way, because that was something that I was asked if, uh, I do believe what's in there. I believe that's his point of view. I do, but, um, I'm gonna give the book a 3 out of 5, mostly because I do feel like there was a lot missing from the book that we could have had if he had, uh, finished the book and released it before he died. But that's something we'll never get, so this book is the, be the best we'll get when it comes to an insight from Sid Luft. So, yeah, if you're interested in Judy Garland, I would recommend the book. It does offer a different insight into her life, so that's what I have to say about the book. See you in my next review.